This is a misnomer that I believe that the President and the Treasury Secretary have been trying to pass off on the American people, and it's this, that if Congress fails to raise the debt ceiling by $2.5 trillion, that somehow the United States will go into default and we will lose the full faith and credit of the United States. That is simply not true. It's important to recognize that revenues to continue to come in to the United States Treasury. It's merely the President's obligation and the Congress's to make sure that the interest is paid on the debt. We're grateful that revenues are sufficient to be able to pay the interest on the debt. Let it be known and let us have a legislative direction that we do pay off the interest on the debt first. That's what Steve King is doing in this legislation. Representative Louis Gohmert of Texas also had a very good idea in April. He said, under no circumstances should the brave men and women in uniform who are for fighting to protect the liberties of this nation while the United States is engaged in various conflicts, should they have for a moment their military pay be somehow in abeyance or suspended. The families of the military deserve far better than that, and that's why it's imperative, again, that we stand both with our military and also with making sure that we stand to secure the full faith and credit of the United States. I commend Louis Gohmert, I commend Steve King, I commend Tom McClintock and Pat Toomey for trying to put this effort forward. We cannot go on scaring the American people. We need to be truthful. And I call on the President and the Treasury Secretary to tell the truth to the American people.